Hey and welcome to video number six. In order to change your state of mind to a better one and get past the roadblocks, you need to make it fun and into a game. You don't have to, but in doing this, it'll definitely help you, you know, adapt to the newer state of mind and you will be able to train your mind you know, and your subconscious uh, to get out of that. Now, what I want you to do is this. If you go into the state of mind of you feel like, okay, this needs to be perfect. This I need to add all these different features to this product or I need to add all these other ideas to this product or you begin to be in that dream state where you're just dreaming and you're not planning, you're not implementing those dreams then you need to get out of it. But in order to train your subconscious mind and your your state of mind, you need to go take a break. Every time you go into that, oh, I need to add this and that, or I need to make this perfect, go take a break and get out of state of mind. So go take a break and walk around, you know, get a drink of water, go to the bathroom, uh, do something other than thinking that you need to be perfect in that case or in that dream. Once you're ready, I want you to have a competition against yourself. Now, I know this might sound silly and cheesy, but it definitely works in order to help you change your subconscious thinking process. You need to take these types of actions. So you're going to have a competition against yourself. If things are fun, then guess what? Things are going to be easier for you to implement. When times get tough, you get overwhelmed, which is a natural process. You're not going to be perfect, but you're going to be able to make it into a game and make it fun. Make it competitive and compete with yourself and find ways to speed up your tasks without stressing out. So definitely take breaks, drink water, and so forth, and see how fast you can go. So right now I'm going to actually talk about some solutions that you can take uh, today and implement this, and there's several different ways to go about doing this. I found over the years that these specific things work. Number one, use eCounter. eCounter is a software that it's, it's sort of like a timing device. It counts down from, let's say, you put it at an hour, it'll count down from an hour. And what it does is once it hits zero seconds, you can tell it what to do. You can either lock your computer down, which of course you're gonna need to be paying close attention to that e-counter because if it's gonna shut your computer down or lock it down, then you definitely wanna keep <laughs> saving your, your stuff. So I like eCounter simply because of that. It does something to my computer to alert me, hey, you've gone beyond the one hour mark. So that makes me wanna really speed up. So that's good pressure and good pressure is actually good for you. Um, bad pressure, stress is actually not good for you, but there are some good stress involved here because you're trying to have fun with it you're trying to be competitive and with yourself and you can use eCounter. Now I'm going to actually go show you uh, where eCounter, where you can get eCounter uh, because there's a lot of software out there called eCounter so I want to make sure that you get to the right place. So let's go ahead and go over there. So what I want you to do is go to Google and type in e-counter with the C as a capitalize and don't download this, this is not it. Uh, there's a lot of e-counters out there. Um, the company that actually owns this is ergonomy.com, but don't go, don't go to that site because it's all in Spanish. Uh, so what you need to do is just go to either softpd.com or download.cnet.com. These two sites are really big sites and they host uh, this software here. But I go to softpd.com. And you can see here the software here. It's called eCounter. It's free, so you don't have to invest any money with this. Uh, what you can see here is this: when time finishes, 
The program can execute a sound, a visual effect, shut down the system, hang up on your internet connection, display an image, hibernate your PC, run your external file. Now, if you're just getting out and getting started this, with this, I'd probably recommend something like a sound or visual effect in the main window. Shutting down the system is a little extreme, so uh, use it as your own, you know, move forward with your own uh, caution. So just be aware of that. <laughs> and when it shuts it down and you haven't saved your files, you're not probably not going to be a happy camper. So you definitely want to use precaution and move forward and uh, don't go forward unless you're ready to do it. So start out with like, let's say, let's say this is level one, you know, level two, level three, and move down if you choose to do so. So eCounter is free, I love it. I've been using it for many, many years and it works great, it works wonders, as long as you combine it uh, with the other methods that I'm about to show you. Now that we're back, uh, you can also use another timing device if you want to. You can use an alarm clock or you could even uh, tell your friend, hey, um, I'm going to go work for an hour. Um, around an hour later, just uh, come back or, you know, you can give them an opportunity to do something to you if you want to. And that makes it fun, too. And in fact, if you have a roommate or so forth and, and they're in the house, you could even say, hey, I'll give you five bucks if I don't, you know, get this done in, in an hour or something. And of course, you're thinking, why would I want to do that? But you're basically causing some sort of pain if you don't finish in an hour. And while that, in a way, is not very fun, it is fun in the sense that you believe in yourself, you're confident in yourself, and you're able to persevere uh, to a point where you can you know, get things done. Another thing I like to use is my laptop. So my laptop has a battery and it'll usually scream at me about 7%, you know, down. So if I look at my laptop and it says I have about an hour to do and I've done my estimates and I know that the, the task ahead will take about an hour, then I can try to get things done in an hour. And if it doesn't, then it, my laptop will scream at me or make some really loud sound, which it does. Or some of your laptops will just automatically shut off. So you need to pay close attention to your laptop battery. And when you're doing so, things will definitely speed up. Now, this sounds silly, but it definitely works. I went from you know creating a sales letter in you know about a day process to using this strategy here and getting it down to about, you know, creating most of the sales that are within an hour and a half. So this definitely works. It's a little silly, but it works and it's fun. And the last thing that you can do is use the tool in video number eight to remove distractions. So that's another thing you can do. Um, it's easy to get distracted while you're on your computer and visit Facebook and other sites like that. But there is a tool that I will be showing you in the last video, in video number eight, that will allow you to click a button and it'll block literally all the sites that you have marked to be distractive. So using this in combination with you know, this here definitely helps, like use combos of different things. And I can guarantee you that when you start doing these things, it will definitely help speed up the process it will definitely help you uh, adapt to your new state of mind and uh, change your and improve your surroundings.